Hey everybody, this is Juddy from j and J True Outdoor Adventures. You know, a lot of my videos are hunting related. Uh, then I've got some firearms and some reloading videos. But today I'm going to do a video that's about my EDC. And my EDC may be far and above what anybody else carries. I live in somewhat of a rural area, but I'm not that far from town or anything like that. But, you know, go out on our hunting lease, you know, it'd be several miles to get back to home. Uh, and if I go up to the camp, uh, we're not that far from a few little homes and stuff, but no, you know, big towns or anything. So the stuff I carry stays in my truck most of the time. There's stuff I carry on myself. Uh, and I'm going to do a video kind of show what that is. Uh, you know, your comments will be welcomed uh, if you see things that you think, you know, Juddy, why do you carry that? Or, you know, do I need to add this to it? You know, be, you know, feel free to uh, leave your comments and let me know. Again, this is my first time. I've watched a lot of videos on EDCs and bug out bags and so forth. But I thought, well, let me do something that shows what I carry. Uh, some of the stuff may be redundant. Some of it may not be necessary. Uh, it's a learning process, especially for me. I'm kind of new to all this, but uh, this is stuff I'll even take when I go hunting. This is stuff I'll take. It'll be in the truck. Uh, even when I go to camp up in Greenbrier County, uh, you know, I'm 70, 80 miles from home. Uh, we're in a national forest. This stuff will be in my truck. Uh, so uh, let me get everything set up, and you'll see what I've talked about that I carry with me. Okay, here we go with the first thing. Now, this is what I generally carry with me. A Glock 23 Gen 4. It is unloaded right now for the video purpose. Uh, magazine. Usually I have an extra with me. And I use the Hornady Critical Defense Rounds. Uh, I generally carry that with me at all times. I have a uh, paddle holster, black hawk, it's got the button, locks, locks it in. That's what I generally wear on my side. I have a pair of Steiner Germany, I think is how it's pronounced. This is the uh, Marine, Military Marine 8x30 binoculars that I have. That's usually in the door of the truck. In its padded case. And then here is my big bag. And of course, there's several things on this. I have the Charade SCHF 52. It's got the uh, uh, sharpening steel. It's got a uh, ferrous rod. This is the 7 inch blade. You see my video on it. That I took to my pack. And uh, take it off. And then uh, some other things I got hooked to the pack is I have a Garmin GPS that has the uh, uh, built in camera in it. It's a color GPS. It's got all the topo maps and everything on it. Um, I have well, this is for my cell phone, MP3 player, anything that charges by U, uh, UP, uh, UB, USB. Sorry. Uh, this is a solar panel. 
Right now it's charging under just the normal light. All the lights lit up means it's fully charged. And that solar panel is great. I've used it a few times to charge up my cell phone. Uh, I've got a multi-tool tool clipped on to this pack. Uh, it's got like a little carabiner to hook it to. A little pair of pliers. Spring loaded. Uh, locks back pretty good. It's got a uh, can opener, bottle opener. Uh, it's got a knife blade. It's a little small knife blade. On this end, it's got a small Phillips head screwdriver. And I was trying to think. Yeah, that's it. Got that little multi tool. That was something I just paid the shipping for to get. Uh, I got a carabiner, or not a carabiner, I got a uh, um, paracord bracelet here. It's got the whistle built into it. But it's helping to hold on my first aid kit, which right now I'll separate. That's the first aid kit. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the brand is. This is the kind. It's got the molly straps. Uh, it rips away if you have it strapped to a backpack and you need it. You just unbuckle it from here and grab the handle and it pulls away from it's fully velcroed. I'll get into that in here in just a minute. Okay, I have on this side of the pack, I have one of those Bofang radios with speaker mic. It's got the FRS frequencies in. I'm also a ham operator, so it's got ham radio frequencies programmed in it. It's got the National Weather Service frequency, plus it has 911 frequencies. Uh, great little radio. We use these hunting quite a lot, you know, to keep in touch with everybody, you know, everybody in camp. And then, let's see here, I have a secondary knife, dropped a sharpie, I have a secondary knife, this is a cheap old knife, I got these off of eBay, in fact it was two knives, uh, different sheaths, and I ended up uh, Velcroing and stitching the sheaves together. I think it's just Velcro. Yeah, just Velcro. Uh, you have this little knife here. A little paracord. It's not really paracord. It's just a rope handle. Uh, it comes with a ferrous rod, which if you look at it, you can tell I've used it. And then the big brother to this knife is here. And you know, it's a full tang knife. It's got the rope on it, but I actually put paracord on it to make the handle just a little bit bigger. It feels fits good in the hand. In the hand. So you know, I want to kind of have both of these knives together. So, like I said, I just velcroed the uh, uh, small case onto the big case. But you know, it's a little bit of redundancy. You've got the two knives. I got the the charade SCH. F52, and I got this. Now these were, I think this one was like six, seven dollars. This was probably six or seven dollars from eBay. And then in that same little pouch, I got Sharpie, of course, big fat one. Then I carry around some wire ties, a couple big ones. I thought got three big ones and one smaller one. And I've got some more. I just haven't put in there. You can use those for. A lot of different things. And I think that's it in there. This pouch was an add-on, just hooked into the molly strap on this. 
this has my compass. It's just one of those cheap compasses, uh, but it, it'll do the job. And inside there, I've got uh, this is a cheap Leatherman. I can't remember who made it, but I got it. I know I got it from Walmart. Uh, spring loaded. Okay. You know, it, it's stout. It's got a knife blade, screwdriver blade, uh, another smaller screwdriver blade, and then it's got a small knife blade right there. And then on this side, you've got a file and a saw, and another can opener, and a screwdriver, a Phillips head, and then here's another. I guess that first one was bottle opener. This is an actual can opener here. So I have that in this pouch. And I have a monocular, uh, 10 by 25. I think I got this off of Amazon. And I just kind of get that stuff back in there for right now. In this little pouch, I've got several things. Okay, this is one of those, uh, it's not a bracelet, but it's a, uh, I got work gave it to me. It's a steel wire, and these will unscrew. There we go. I think they unscrew, and I think I've just—it's been a while since since I had them unscrewed. But uh, they'll come apart. You can put keys on them or anything else. And then I have—it's a whistle, carabiner, and. I think I took the batteries out. Flashlight. This <coughs> is a tin that had uh, pellets from my air rifle. And in it I've got cotton balls, juke twine, one of those tea candles, and I think some dryer lint all in that. And this was a little tin, almost like an uh, Altoids tin. And in it, I have uh, pieces of bark with sap on them out of the pine tree. And I think this is some good, you can see it's sticking. Uh, 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 can't even remember what it's called now, fatwood off pine. And I carry that in, in here. stuff back in there. And I think this was just a little Sam Samsonite camera bag and it just attached it to that. Over on this side, of course I have a Stanley water bottle and these are good no, and drink out of that end, or take the whole top off. And if you had to heat up your water, you don't have to worry about the plastic melting. This is uh, Stanley, so it's stainless steel. Then I have got this from uh, Tractor Supply, which is a saw, and I've used it. It's a good one. Takes care of that. On the backpack here, got a pair of mechanics gloves. You need to take note of. In the middle bag, or back of the very part of the bag, of course, I have a map of my home state, West Virginia. 
I have one of the uh, Hesbit fold up stoves with the cubes in it. And that's all back, what's back in there. Now, sometimes I carry a 380 back in here. In the top bag, I have a Pelican 2360 flashlight. Real good, I like it. There's the extra magazine for my Ruger LCP. I have a Smith's sharpening tool. There's a little tool there. Uh, this is the AAA battery pack for the Bofon radio. Anybody's got these, you got to understand. You don't put. Uh, Trying to learn how to open this up. You don't put uh, two, four, six AAA's in it. You got five AAA's and a dummy. I made the dummy battery myself, just out of a glue stick, a piece of aluminum from a soda can, and some electrical tape. Uh, if you put six AAA's, it won't hurt the radio, it's just you can't transmit. You can receive, but it's too much voltage. Uh, some chapstick, which is trying to come out. I think that's where it's been in my truck, and it's been too hot. Uh, Earplugs. I have a another compass, whistle, uh, thermometer, and this compass also has. Uh, I don't know how to open it up. Has a uh, magnifying glass built into it. Has the magnifying glass. And another set of earplugs. And this here is uh, some toothpicks and uh, just some sugar free mints. So that's what's in those bags, in that part of the bag. Now this part of the bag, I have a bandana. We all know what the different uses are for bandana, so I'm not going to go through that. I have one of these fiber cloths, and I have an emergency rain poncho. Okay, that's everything in there. Now in the front here, I have a right in the rain pen. I have a mechanical pencil. And a right in the rain notebook in this uh, case. I have a made in China. This was promoting a company, MRAM, but it's a knife. It's got the glass punch and uh, it's easy to open, locks. Just never can have too many knives. Okay, that's everything there. And this pouch, I have another little bitty multi tool. Another one of those where you pay the shipping and get it. They come in a little corduroy case. Okay, here I'm getting that in just a minute. Here I have a Grundig FM shortwave radio, telescopic antenna, place for your headphones. Uh, 
DC 5 volt lock volume control tuning. Great little thing coming in its own little pouch. Got a belt loop on the back. Uh, this is a homemade stove from a cookie sheet. Uh, I didn't do a video on this, somebody else had done it. I just took their idea and made a little you know, burn wood or those uh, fuel cubes. But it all fits in this Cassiopeia calculator or whatever case. And then I have, uh, it's almost like a Swiss Army knife tool. It's got a knife blade, corkscrew, uh, a file, and it's hooked by the hook in here. And this let's see if I can zoom in on that. This here is my fire starting kit. I have uh, wet or wet waterproof matches here. I have another ferrous rod and striker. I have another ferrous rod and striker here. I have a lens from a magnif uh, from a, an old pair of binoculars. Use it for magnification or to uh, magnify the sun to start a fire. And I have a big lighter with uh, camouflage duct tape around it. Here I have, uh, I don't have a case for this. I'd like to have a case for this. This is the uh, chainsaw blade uh, portable saw for cutting limbs and stuff. One of the pill bottle looking, supposed to be windproof lighters. I guess if you blow one, it'll go out, but uh, not supposed to leak any fluid or anything. That was another one of those pay the shipping and you can have it for free. And then I have another one of these little. Looks like a Swiss Army knife. Has a blade. Has another. Oh, it's not a blade. It's a file. And I guess a punch, if you want to call it that. Has uh, scissors. And then it's got the pick, uh, toothpick, and tweezers in it another Bic lighter and then I made some of these. This is uh, a straw cut and melted. Uh, it has uh, Vaseline soaked uh, cotton ball pieces in it. And that's pretty much my fire starting kit. Okay, let's get back to the bag. Okay, how's everything out there and there? Now we're getting into the main compartment. This is a UTG bag. Uh, Maxpedition makes one just like it. I see, I got one more side bag. But Maxpedition makes one just like this for 60, 70, 80 bucks. This is a UTG, and I've had this for quite a while. Uh, great bag. Same thing as the Maxpedition for about half the price. Uh, I forgot about this side over here. I carry a couple extra AA batteries. I have a universal cord, mini USB, a larger USB, and then a, uh, an I, uh, see, iPhone 4. Five, I think a 5 fits this plug. 
I have a set of headphones, which is really, this is not just headphones, this is uh, a headphone mic for cell phone. I have a little electrical tape. I have a AC charger for one of those cables. I have a deck of playing cards. And that's it in that pouch. Now we're ready for the big pouch. In the big pouch, of course, I have a schmog. Not going to go through all the uses of what that's for. I mean, everybody knows. This video is longer than what it needs to be. Uh, this was a homemade, seen this on a YouTube video. This was taking uh, a postal service bag, which is somewhat of a uh, Tyvek material. And since I do make some paracord bracelets, buckles, and making a dry bag. So I got that in there. Small first aid kit. I'm not going to go through all the contents. This is just a small one. It'd be something, you know, got the belt loop on there, a little carabiner on it. Uh, this has mainly got band-aids, maybe some gauze, some gauze tape, safety pin, just the essentials. And of course, I carry, uh, I've had this in there a while, probably need to go ahead and cycle it out. This was uh, Starkist tuna and crackers, tuna salad. I have a first aid kit, bite and sting. That's one of the good ones. Has the plunger and the stuff with it, band-aid and everything. I have one of the Walmart five foot by seven foot tarps. bug repellent. This is uh, a magnifier for like reading books and stuff and I have to wear glasses to read so if I didn't have my glasses I could use this. Might be able to even use it to start a fire. But it fits in this bag. Uh, 550 paracord, black. Uh, some pistachios for those of us who like nuts. Okay, now we get into the toiletries. I got some gold bond. I got some uh, Germex hand, hand sanitizer. Uh, there's some lotion. Being a diabetic, I have to have some lotion. So there's some lotion. Uh, on this one, I've got. <coughs> excuse me. Some underarm deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush. And last but not least, a whole box of 380 uh, auto ammo. And that's it. All of the pouches have went, been gone through. That's everything that fits into this bag. Like I said, this is UTG, just like the Max Editions. Now I did add the handle. The handle there was no handle on this. You have the shoulder strap. Uh, you know, carried on one side or the other. Oh, forgot another knife. This is a good one. Uh, this is a Inland EL04. Nice knife. I like it. A buddy of mine told me about them. He was getting ready to order one. I said, order me one too. It's got the uh, I can't remember what you call these handles. It's uh, made out of denim material. But uh, I like this. It's a real good knife. Good edge. But uh, going back to the bag, I added this handle. This was a piece of material I had. I put it in the buckle here. 
just wrapped it through there back on itself come through and then added it here through one of the molly straps had a little bit of glue and then i done a paracord handle it wasn't supposed to be twisted but it's twisted uh, to it that way i can carry it by the handle instead of having to sling it over my shoulder if i'm just wanting to grab it go go in somewhere i just pick it up like that but that's that bag it's a utg same as the max edition i think it's got just the same quality as it but all that stuff you see right there was in that i weighed that bag one time it weighed 15 pounds and now i'll get ready to get into the medical bag okay i done put everything back in the big bag back here but other things i've said now this is my edc so i carry in my truck and what i carry on me the bags are usually in the truck here's my cell phone it's iphone 6 plus it's always with me uh, i have a cree led light it's kind of where you got high and low and then you got the strobe carry that on me of course i have my wallet with all my id information carry just a cheap old camo uh, block blade you know just all purpose cutting and then down my pocket of course big lighter then i have a uh, leatherman kick uh, which has uh, your jaws has a uh, can opener it's got a Phillips screwdriver and then you have knife blade you have uh, a big screwdriver blade and a smaller screwdriver blade and then of course it has the little if I can get it up out of there it has a little lanyard loop where you can put a lanyard on it I don't have a case for this. I wonder what happened to it. But that's usually in my pocket. And then of course I have my keys. And my keys. Uh, I have a Letterman tool here, which is over a winch and a uh, can of a ball and a little small straight screwdriver. Uh, nail clippers. I have a uh, memory stick that has some pertinent information on it. And of course, this is all on a carabiner uh, with keys that I need. And then that's the key to the Jeep. There's my truck keys. Uh, it's got uh, a tester to test from pulling my trailer, check the light connection. So, you know, that's all that I carry with me along with the Glock. Now we'll get into the first aid bag. Uh, can't remember the brand of this, but I've got an old cheap uh, Tac Force Speedster model knife. Of course, it's made in China, stainless steel. Got uh, the seat belt cutter, got the glass punch. Uh, it's not uh, spring assisted. I've had one that is spring assisted, but uh, not this one. Well, it's, it's supposed to be, but I think it's just it's real tight. I can hear it in there when I close it. Uh, but I keep that on the bag. And then a little flashlight, one AAA battery, then a uh, pair of scissors goes down right into Molly strapping here for cutting bandages and so forth. And then uh, put this knife back. I don't make this video too long. Okay, there's the strap. Like I said, this is one of those pull-away bags. I got the patch. Ordered that off of Amazon. Uh, this comes off, and then you unzip it. I don't know if you can see all the stuff that's in here or not. Uh, this first compartment here is tape, bandage tape. It's got uh, anti-itch cream. It's got cotton swabs, and it's got a whistle, and some rubber gloves, all kinds of little towelettes, 
uh, a burn cream and an antiseptic cream. Uh, then I've got uh, Tums in here. And then in this bag, uh, this here is a rescue mask out from Red Cross. I had some Red Cross, Red Cross training for uh, uh, CPR, first aid. Uh, got into that with my ham radio stuff. That's the rescue mask. Then I've got uh, first aid antibiotic cream. I've got uh, uh, antibacterial hand wipes. I've got Tylenol. I've got Advil. Ace bandage. Um, there's some more. Oh, there's a face mask. Uh, and there's band aids and more band aids, big band aids, small band aids. There's medicine swabs. Here I got some more gloves, uh, gauze bandage, ace bandage, tongue depressors, uh, the instructions. Uh, I've got a tourniquet right there. I've got a light stick. Uh, Anti-itch cream again. I've got a uh, currency blanket with foil pipe. It does have a yellow rain poncho in here. Uh, this is a uh, hot, and cold and hot uh, extra strength uh, medicated pads patch in here. So, I mean, it's not a trauma per se, it's more of a extreme first aid kit. But, like I said, I carry all this in the truck. You never know what you're going to need. This all fits back up. Of course, it's almost expanded to the gills. And how much stuff I can actually carry in here. That's the reason why I said in the beginning of the video, you see things that, uh, you, Jenny, you don't need that. You know. uh, or, Jenny, you need this instead of that. So let me know. Leave me a message. Uh, I'm open to criticism. Uh, you know, if, if there's stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here, then I need to take it out. But that's what this is. This is my... I'll call it a trauma kit around some people, but it's just an uh, extensive first aid kit. But this hooks to this via the uh, paracord bracelet, so it's, it's always attached to that. I mean, if somebody had to get it, they could undo the bracelet, and there it is. But this is, I guess you call my truck EDC bag stuff up and above beyond what I will have on me. This won't be on me unless I need to leave my truck, throw this over my shoulder and go. And with that first aid kit, we may be talking 20 pounds now. But you know, that's that's what I carry. Uh, some things on me, some things just stay in the truck, they're in the back seat, uh, binoculars are in the door. That's it. I have uh, the charger for the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, you know, charge my cell phone. Uh, like I said, this is solar power. It's got USB ports on both sides. Uh, now, it takes a long time for this thing to charge up, uh, just laying in the direct sunlight. In fact, you're not supposed to put this in direct sunlight, but uh, it takes a while to charge up. On electric, to charge it doesn't take that long. You can get two, for the iPhone 6 Plus, you can get two charges out of this for your phone. Uh, I would recommend charge the phone fully, then set this out in the light and let it recharge. It may take hours for it to fully recharge, but I wouldn't run this all the way down or it's going to take forever for it to charge back up. So I would just charge my phone up one time. Your phone will have full charge on it. Then uh, uh, it'll be about half charge. Let this thing charge up again. Uh, now you do want to cycle it all the way down at times, but uh, I just know in the outside in the daylight it takes a long time to get this thing charged up. Uh, 
So, you know, have good charge phone with you or whatever. Uh, but this is my stuff. If you see things I shouldn't be carrying with me, if there's uh, a better way or something better than some of the things I got, let me know. Uh, like I said, this is my first time. I don't call myself a prepper. I don't call myself a survivalist or bushcrafter or nothing like that. But I've seen some of this stuff. I thought, well, you know, with my hunting and fishing, being in the outdoors, some of this stuff I need to do, some of this I need to learn to carry with me. Uh, I have a bug out bag, but I'm not even going to get into that. Uh, I know it can be redone and fixed a whole lot better than what I've got it right now. But This is the stuff I keep in my truck with me all the time. You know, I just realized I forgot one thing. That, now this might be in the bug out bag, this might be in my hunting kit, this might be in that. I, need, I haven't made up my mind where I want to put it. good friend of mine, James Sullivan from Facebook, sent me this Altoid. Of course you can see the hole in it, you can tell it's black so you know what's in it. Uh, I've got a piece of canal black flint. And I think I call this chute he sent uh, with what he sent me, which was and I broke the end off of it. Uh, it was one solid piece and this chipped off of it. But this will spark. I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, here's some jute twine that he sent, which I had some. But he made me this steel. You heard people talk about flint and steel. Uh, watch it, I won't get it to spark. And the other time I'd get it. But that's what it's for. It's flint and steel. Let's see if I've got a sharp edge on a piece of flint. Okay. And of course, he sent me this char cloth that he made, which I've made some too. And uh, he sent me that because I was interested in the flint and steel. So I keep that in there. And like I said, I haven't made up my mind. If I'm going to put this in the EDC bag or if I'm going to put it in my hunting kit or a bug out bag. But I want to thank James Sullivan for fixing up the steel for me and sending me this little kit. Really appreciate it. Uh, i got to practice more. But I've actually made me up my own. Uh, uh, char cloth. And of course, there's tons of videos on the internet, on YouTube for doing that. But I forgot this. And I wanted to put this in my video. I wanted to thank James Sullivan for sending this to me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Don't know how much I appreciate it. So, uh, with that, this is the end of this video of my EDC bag and my carry stuff. Uh, so, again, I appreciate you watching. Leave any comments. Uh, good or bad uh, you know like my channel subscribe to my channel really appreciate it like I said this channel is mainly about hunting uh, firearms and reloading uh, some been a long time since I've done any fishing I need to get into fishing and doing some videos on fishing but uh, uh, we just try to show what it is like here in West Virginia we don't go out of state to hunt we don't go out of state to fish or anything like that at all here in West Virginia and it's not as easy as it's shown on TV. That's the whole purpose for our channel. Of course, the reloading was a hobby of mine. I like to reload. And firearms, you know, just cleaning firearms. I built a couple of ARs. But, you know, like and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.